The Old Earth Theory Do you believe in parallel universes? In string theory, the multiverse is a theory in which our universe is not the only one. Instead, many universes exist parallel to each other. These distinct universes within the multiverse theory are called parallel universes. This means there are copies of you sitting right here right now listening to this, but in other universes, there are other copies of you that are doing other things in other universes. One universe may be very similar to that of our own, but with slight differences that can be accounted for by butterfly effect-like changes resulting in different outcomes. Now what if through the use of technology, we were able to shift our universe's timeline into that of another parallel one? What if we could pick and choose timelines to better suit our own existence? Or, what if we already have done this? Thousands of people have recently began reporting changes to the Earth's geography when the popular Mandela Effect theory sprung about. Since then, the enormity of the Earth's changes alone called for a separate categorization of theories. The reports consist of city locations seeming to be different, bodies of water and landmasses either becoming much larger or smaller, or even full countries and even continents seeming to have moved to different locations or having vanished completely. The majority of these findings have been discovered through the use of things like Google Earth, atlases, and older maps to ensure they were not merely updated versions responsible for the changes. Explanations range from the Large Hadron Collider at CERN successfully ripping through the fabric of time in the universe to adjust our reality to a different parallel one. Or, our old Earth was destroyed in 2012, and now our consciousness lives on within a massive computer simulation. Perhaps it is a combination of both, or is it simply a bad case of Mandela effect with our brains remembering the wrong locations and details of our own globe? Let's now take a look at some of the most notable examples of the old Earth theory, and then you can decide whether you've packed up and moved to a parallel universe yourself. Number 1. New Zealand According to old Earthers, New Zealand used to be northeast of Australia. As you can see, it is now southeast of Australia. Many claim that Australia was more isolated away from Papua New Guinea and Indonesia, leaving ample room in the northeast region for where New Zealand is supposed to be. So what is the true land down under? Apparently the answer is New Zealand, not Australia. Number 2. The Northern Ice Cap The Northern Ice Cap at the North Pole no longer exists. This one tends to hit home for a lot of people who remember spinning their globe as a child with two polar ice caps one at the south being Antarctica, and another circle of ice at the top, where the North Pole was. Greenland also existed on Old Earth, so this should not be confused with being the missing northern ice cap. Number 3. South America South America used to be much more directly underneath North America and not so far east out into the Atlantic Ocean. This also seemingly shrinks the size of the Atlantic, especially the distance between South America and Africa while drastically increasing the size of the Pacific Ocean. Number 4. Detroit Detroit's orientation to Windsor, Ontario has now changed. Downtown Detroit is now north or northwest of Windsor, when many recall it being south or southwest. It appears to have shifted up the Detroit River. Number 5. Cuba Cuba has grown larger in size and has changed shape, Many people remember Cuba being much smaller, not as close to Florida as it is now, and its shape was always said to resemble a cigar. And now, it looks nothing like a cigar. Number 6. The Mediterranean Sea Many differences of the Mediterranean are noticed when remembering Old Earth. A few examples are, Sicily seems to be extremely close to Tunisia now, and also much closer to the boot tip of the mainland Italian peninsula. Number 7. Kazakhstan and Mongolia. Both of these countries now appear much larger than on Old Earth. And on an even more mysterious note, it is also reported that Kazakhstan was actually remembered as a slender north-south stretching country on the far east end of Russia above North Korea, bordering the Pacific. Number 8. Baja California. Baja California is now much longer than on Old Earth. Many remember it as only being half its present size. Now it seems to stretch extremely far in length, north-south, and into the Pacific. Number 9. Panama 
The shape and orientation of Panama has now changed drastically, with many remembering it as a more north-south stretching country, and now it appears as an east-west stretching country. So there you have it. Do you remember old Earth? Or is this the same Earth you have always known? Please like and subscribe to this new channel for weekly videos just like this one. Thank you very much for watching.